Brothers and sisters, just as we come to a time of congregational prayer, uh, I wanted to share with you a couple of things. Um, I have been given permission by uh, executive to um, to say the, the first names of people who we are uh, praying for. So, um, yeah, I, I may mention some first names only to maintain the confidentiality of folks. Um, and so I wanted to update you on a couple of things. First of all, I wanted to share with you uh, that Michelle uh, and Miles, um, you can be in prayer for them. Miles continues to be at uh, CHEO. Uh, and so we just uh, hold him up and we hold Michelle up as well. Uh, we want to also uh, pray for Edith. Uh, she is hopefully about halfway done her treatments, and we are so grateful for that. She is doing very well uh, in those treatments. We want to hold up, of course, Wilma uh, as well, who is also progressing in her treatments and doing quite well uh, too. We want to also keep in mind uh, and in our prayers very much uh, Henny. Henny is in a uh, quite a vulnerable state uh, as far as her immune system goes right now. Uh, and so we just ask for prayers for her. She's had to take a, a bit of, bit longer of a pause uh, on her treatments uh, than perhaps we might have liked, uh, but she will be hopefully getting more information this week and uh, hopefully we'll be able to proceed again with treatments for, uh, for her. So please be in prayer uh, for her as well. Of course, uh, please be in prayer for all of those who are not able to get out and about for whatever reasons during these days. Let us come before the Lord, our God, in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for drawing us together uh, again during this time. Lord, we pray uh, for those in our congregation who are struggling with illness. Lord, in particular, we want to think of uh, we want to think of Miles. We want to think of uh, we want to think of Henny, and we want to think of Wilma, and we want to think of Edith. Lord, we praise you for the for the work that healthcare workers are doing in each one of their lives. We want to pray for all of those who are supporting them and we want to we want to be an encouragement to them in whatever way we can. Lord, we pray for all of our healthcare workers in this world as as always, O oh God. We are so grateful for them. Father in heaven, we want to also lay before you the many in our congregation who struggle with uh, various, uh, various things. Lord, we think of uh, Wayne, uh, we, think of, we think of Frank, Lord, we think of uh, Martin. We ask that you would be with him too during this uh, weather. Um, we think of... Um, we think of all of those who are shut in, Lord. We think of all of our farmers, O oh God. We lay them before you and, and the, the reality of the weather. Uh, Lord, I don't know particularly, but I suspect that uh, at this time our farmers could use some more uh, rain at this point. Lord, we pray for uh, for that. Lord, we pray uh, we pray for ongoing safety for them and for all of those who are working. Lord, we pray also uh, for our police officers uh, as well. Uh, this is a pretty difficult time uh, for some of them. Lord, we know uh, we know and we trust very much that all of those officers in in our congregation uh, they they desperately want to do good and serve their communities lord we just pray for strength for them at the same time oh god we also continue to pray uh, against uh, systemic racism wherever it may be found 
whether it's found in police forces or whether it's found uh, in the institutions around us or whether it is found in our own hearts and minds. Oh God, please help us to respect our fellow image bearers, to love our fellow image bearers. Lord, help us to address things that are built into our structures and have been for hundreds of years. Help those things. Help us to make them right. Father, we pray too, O oh God, that you would be with this country. We are coming close, uh, close to our uh, to our birthday as a as a nation, uh, as the nation of Canada, and we recognize, O oh God, that not only is that a joyous celebration because we are so grateful for this country in which we live, but we recognize also that it too is a bitter sweet thing that there are many in this country who struggle and who have never who have never released their claims on the on various lands in this country we think of indigenous first nations peoples and we ask oh god that we may continue in ever better ways to build bridges between us and First Nations, between us and us, essentially, for we are, we are all your image bearers. Father, we pray too that you will help us in our relationships, O oh God. As we come to your scriptures today and we talk about your character, O oh God, how you are Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and that is three in one, and what that means for us, God, please illuminate our hearts and minds. Help us, O oh God, to live as your image bearers in all the areas of our life. Lord, we pray for your guidance. In Jesus' name. Amen.